Hello guys and welcome back to another class of our course about the complete introduction to Photoshop. So in today's class we are going to have a presentation of Photoshop. So basically we are going to learn what exactly is Photoshop, how it works and uh, some different things that you might be able to do um, by learning Photoshop. So let's start. All right, so what exactly is uh, Photoshop? So for those of you who don't know, basically Photoshop is a software that is used uh, a lot in designing. Um, so it can be used in plenty of things such as, for example, picture editing, picture modification, artwork creation, or many others. Um, so when we're talking about picture editing or modification, let's say, for example, you guys are going for a photo shoot. Um, so if you're going for a photo shoot, after that, the person who took the pictures will definitely modify them. So why? Because sometimes the lightning is not perfect. Um, well, you can be, well, let's say the picture is not that perfect. So Photoshop is really here to help you retouch the picture and create something magic in each moment. So basically each picture could be close to perfection with the Photoshop. Um, so this could work for a picture that you have taken. This could be for a project that you are working on. So let's say, for example, you are creating a wallpaper. So if you want to create an amazing wallpaper, um, you will definitely use Photoshop because once again, this is really specialized in designing and in uh, creation of different projects of this type. All right. Um, another thing with Photoshop is that there are plenty of versions of Photoshop. So as you can see here, we have CC, Element, Lightroom, or Express. And um, those versions, well, the main difference between those versions is uh, basically the features that they have. So some versions have more features than others. And uh, this is basically the main difference between them. All right. So what can we do with uh, Photoshop? So we talked, we maybe talked about it in the past course, in the past uh, course. Uh, but basically Photoshop, as I said, it's really specialized in uh, modification of uh, pictures. Um, so first thing that you can do, you can modify or retouch a picture. So in other words, as I said, it could be a picture that you import from internet. It could be a picture that uh, you have taken yourself. So this is basically the first thing that you can do. So you can add uh, some elements to the picture. You can delete some elements from the picture. You can delete someone from a picture. You can add someone to a picture. So plenty of things that you can do. So modifying or retouching a picture would be one of the most important. Um, so also Photoshop, you can work on different types of projects and a few of them can be, for example, in web designing. So you can design your website. So once again, the mockup of your website or the layout of your website. And uh, what's cool about it? Yes, basically, this would be just the mock-up or uh, the designing part. And after that, you will have to program it. So the programming part is not with Photoshop, but all the designing part will be with Photoshop. So you will know exactly how you want your website to be. So this way, then you, you just give the Photoshop, uh, the Photoshop program to a uh, programmer and the programmer will simply create the whole thing. And basically he will know exactly what to do because you have programmed your, well, you have designed your website. So this could be an idea of things that you guys can do with uh, Photoshop. Uh, you can also work on different designs in different fields. So web uh, creation of a website could be one of those. So it could be home design, it could be clothing designing. It could be, for example, let's say you want to create uh, a tattoo. Uh, you want to modify your car. You want to, well, you can do pretty much anything you want with uh, Photoshop if we're talking about the designing part or just the creation part. And uh, you'll see it's uh, pretty cool. Well, it's pretty cool once you know how it works. You can create projects like the two pictures below right here. Uh, so it can also be used for working with online pictures as well as taking pictures. So this is what I talked about a little bit earlier. Uh, so basically you can work with uh, pretty much any picture that you want. So you can import pictures from social media. You can import pictures from the internet. You can take your own pictures. Uh, it could be high quality, it could be low quality pictures. So basically you can work with anything you want. Once again, I suggest you to work with more high quality pictures. And uh, what we are, well, we are going to learn uh, in this course how to work with Photoshop, but I'll also show you some places where you can get uh, free high quality pictures as well as videos but uh, mostly pictures because we're going to work with the pictures and you'll see you can create really amazing projects with uh, well with Photoshop. So 
besides of that, uh, I hope you guys right now have a idea of what exactly is Photoshop, how it works and uh, all the things that you can do with this amazing software. So you'll see it's really a great software, especially in designing and uh, learning this is really important, especially in the life that we are living in right now. So let's say you want to become a freelancer and you start your own business. Well, basically you want to be the one who is creating your ads. Let's say you, you want to create more, well, for marketing, you want to market your product or your business. You can create your own ads. You can create the design of your own website. Um, having designing skills is really something, in my opinion, that is really important in our world. Um, so let's not wait anymore and let's uh, jump to the next part of the course that is the practical part. And uh, from this moment, you will be able to learn and practice everything that you have learned with Photoshop. So that's it for this class, guys, and see you all in our next class.